Hey guys, this is Pseudo Gerudo, and I'm here for my second episode of Influx. Let's play. So, last time we we um we left off after completing the second um sort of puzzle. Uh, so we're gonna continue on again, uh, back to the stage where you collect orbs. We're off to, I guess, the, the third? Yeah, the third. Wait, what? Okay. Yeah, we're off to the third part, the third puzzle to solve. There we go. Alright. So, immediately we get the grasp of how large the puzzle area is. Do we? No, we don't, actually. Sometimes they sort of cover it up, but it's uh all right. We'll sort of get onto this platform. Uh, have we seen this platform before? We haven't seen platforms like this before, have we? We have seen the rotation mechanic, but we haven't seen that purple platforms. Well, I think they're pretty prominent in this game. They are. Uh, they, I think, I think they um appear at a higher frequency in later levels. But for now, let's just focus on, you know, the uh, small amount that are in this particular level, particular level. As you make it through, I, don't, I can't even actually, I can't even find the ball. Okay, there we are. There we are, there we are. Sort of repel it onto the platform! Fuck. I hate situations like these. God damn it, get down, get down. Alright. That was really nothing to do except for what okay, there we go. Wait, and then we sort of have to push the ball over to the ledge before okay good. Alright, where do we go now? Where do we go from here? Go somewhere. Do we go there? No, don't do we go there? I don't I just wanna know if we go there. No, I don't fuck it, we'll go. We're moving anyway. <laughs> This isn't. This isn't in any way abnormal. Okay, so we're down here. So what do you just do? What do you just? You just? You just? Am I supposed to rotate this or? Yeah, I think that's how you do it. Okay, and I keep forgetting that. Um, I keep forgetting that right click is to repel and left click is to attract. So sometimes, sometimes, fuck. What? What? Oh, okay, okay. Anyway, no, actually, I'm I'm still puzzled by what. Okay, maybe the ball just hit the orange area before, or when I wasn't looking, or because I I did try to attract it at some point before I fell. But anyway, so we got a new power up, and that is to boost. Apparently, you hold the space bar, and you sort of hold it there, and it sort of slows down. Charging the boost slows time and lets you change direction quickly. Woo. Woo. Oh, you can do it in midair as well. That's cool, and it sort of like moves your direction, sort of uh, changes your direction in a really sharp manner, sort of sort of angles with the way you were moving in originally. So that's pretty cool, actually. No, no, okay. No, can we swim? Can we get? No, we can't swim. Alright, guys, it's official. We cannot swim. I sort of actually wanted to try it out, to be honest. Because I didn't really know if we could swim or not. And in a way, I don't really know what kind of mechanic we would use to actually swim. I mean, if this ball floats or sinks! You asshole. Okay, is there a passageway I can use? Oh. Can I use it? What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, 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 so things happen. Things happen. This is a game and it's natural for things to happen in and... Oh shit. Alright. Now from what I can see, like all there are some yeah, if you can see if you can see there are some um orbs that are on uh, top of that tree. So I'm just gonna try and get them. Yep. There we go. No, 
I think I have enough, so I can go back. I can go to the, uh... What happened? Uh, okay, went there already. Okay, cool. I recognize it, it recognizes it from a large distance. Ooh. Tells us again. Okay, you know what? Uh, I think the, um... The boost function of the ball sort of reminds me of, um, if anyone has played Metroid Prime, uh, you'll know that there is or actually any Metroid game to beat. Uh, some of the Metroid games, actually, to be honest. Uh, you'll know that there is some sort of boost function with the, the Morph Ball. And that's what it sort of reminds me of, because you sort of have to hold it as well, and, you, and, it, and the longer you hold it, the, um, the faster you, you go. So, it kind of reminds you of that. Which is pretty cool. And as well as the ambient uh, music in the background, that sort of also has some reminiscence with um, Metroid Prime in some levels. So, you know, this game is. And to be. And uh, if, you, if you don't really know, Metroid Prime is one of my favorite games of all time. So, it's. It's one of my favorite game series of all time. Metroid, as as a whole, is one of my favorite game series of all time. So, you know, this is this being somewhat somewhat similar to um, having some feel or having some sensation that is akin to the akin felt to the uh, feeling uh, felt in when playing Metroid Prime. It's sort of a good thing, really. Uh, kind of makes me enjoy the entire experience. It makes me want to, you know, keep playing this game. Uh, but I don't really know. I don't know if any of you guys have played Metro Prime or any of the Metro games to be to be clear. All right, I think this is the next one, but I don't have any. All right, we're gonna look for them. Where are they? Where the fuck are you? Although in Metroid Prime, I don't really think you can like boost as, as far as it does. Like when this when it boosts in this game, it boosts like really. I'll try heading in this direction, see if there's something. Okay, there we go. Uh, also, if you haven't noticed, it, um, it's sort of more expansive now. The area is more expansive because we progressed through the game. So, um, so hopefully, throughout the later levels, will be more, even more and more expansive, and the puzzle will get even more and more challenging. So, you know, and we see a uh, greater variety in OSTs and and I guess power ups, I guess, and other things. I think we have like enough to get through the gate or whatever. Let's check this area here. Oh, there we go. We got one more. And I feel like I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna keep using the boost ball as a as a method of movement a lot more. That I should be using it because I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep bumping into rocks. I'm gonna keep colliding into rocks and just like bounce off it and then you know end up in like the water or something like that. And I hope to God like it doesn't you know sort of screw me over when I get into like one of the puzzle areas and I end up falling off the stage or something because the 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 the, the paths along which you have to roll the ball or control the ball or move the ball through is sort of the kind of thin. And it's sort of hard to navigate considering the fact that the ball kind of, kind of like can't stop moving. Like it's, it's gonna move, and, and it's and it sort of like moves really slowly if you want it to stop, and you can't really make it stop, from what I see. So, all right, we're in. We are in. And what is this? What is this? 
Alright, we got another one. We got another of these orange balls. Wait, we have like... We have depressions here. What are these depressions here? Wait, oh shit. Oh my god. I gotta remind myself that left click is attract, right click is repel. Oh, okay. What? No. <laughs> Don't screw it over. No. Yes, 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 yes. Attract it towards me. Give it to me. Come here. Come here. Oh, and we can't actually rotate these. I'm guessing it needs like two, two weighted objects to actually move it. Yep. It's sort of like in Zelda, if anyone has played Zelda here, anyone in any of the Zelda games would require, you know, things to move over, two things to move over into one platform, or one switch to make it actually, act to actually make it activate. Because it happens in a lot of, a lot of Zelda games, especially the 3D Zelda games, so. I think this is like the second reference I made to another, like, to another game. And that ball sort of isn't moving. No, nope, no, no. There we go. No, don't roll. Don't roll over. Don't roll off the. No, 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 Got it off the fence. All right, just let it roll in there. Oh, fuck. Okay. No, 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 no! Don't, don't, don't. Okay, wait. Let's just. No, you. Oh, oh, okay. No, that's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm guessing we have to flick the switch up there. Up there. Come here. Come here, you piece of shit ball. Fucking piece of shit ball. You look like a fucking star. Okay, wait. We need to get into it together. Nope. This is like a little romantic, romantic moment between the ball, the player ball, and. Yep, we did it. What's happening now? Okay, this is nice. Oh, alright. Go back to one of these. This time we actually saw it move into the orange. The orange area. Ooh! Our first instance of thunder. That's interesting. found any of the blue orbs and that answer is no not at the moment okay let's just keep exploring the area see what happens so we can find and I wonder if there's like any other you know secret unlockables or secret pickups that you can get in this game because that'd be interesting to sort of you know expand the player experience that'd be pretty cool Ooh, a fucking cave look at that shit yeah. And I like how in this cave I'm the only thing that illuminates, so and I'm really liking the lighting effect that it has that goes on with the um with the ball. Ooh, okay, we moved into some pretty dramatic area. Okay, as soon as I well, as soon as I got it, it's like thunderstorms and earthquake and like a fucking village and like a fucking campfire and it's me you know, sort of shooting out of a cave on a ball and like there's a light effect just sort of spinning behind me so that seemed pretty cool it seemed pretty dramatic and there's a volcano in the back and if you see there it's like sort of erupting there it's good to note
Oh, sorry, I was being really silent for a second. Am I going back? No, I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back. Alright, we're back here again, I think. Or I think we're back here. Wait, if those light pillars indicate where I was just at, this is the village, then there must be a volcano there, which means this is where I was to begin with, and so... No, wait. Is it? I don't really know. No, wait, it is. I think it is. Yeah. Have I been here before? No, yeah, there it is. There's a volcano, so I, I just went back. I should really get back there again. No, I think it's just telling me again the instructions, just because I think... It doesn't recognize the fact that I sort of went through this area before. But holy shit, there's like two areas that I can go to, so... You know, talk about expansive. Whoa, okay. Am I... Anywhere close to where I need to be? Okay, this is, this is blocked off with rocks. This is just a large ramp, which I'm gonna boost on to, and... Oh, sandy areas. I've collected three orbs now. Oh, okay. Holy shit, okay, I went all the way down here. Okay, what the fuck is up here? What is up here? What is, uh, what the hell? Wait, what? What? Oh my god, is this a gl is this a is this a glitch or something? I don't know. Oh my god, am I Is there a way for me to actually get it? Oh my god, what the fuck? What the hell game? I know you're relatively new, but like you don't have to fucking do this to me. What the hell? Is there like a collider error somewhere up there? Oh my god, this is this is boxed in. I'm boxed in right now with like an invisible mirror and a fucking I'm like oh my god. Can I even do this? Can I even like sort of boost my way out or something? I don't Okay. Looks like I'm gonna have to uh, restart to like checkpoints. Okay, here I am. Oh, yep, yeah, this is it. So I went through the checkpoint area. I went through the checkpoint area, and I went. I think I went down here because this is looks, looks like the shape. This looks like the shape in which the area I was in. I was locked in. So I think this is uh, below that. That was where I was stuck. So anyway. Aside from that, okay, so we're here. This is the second challenge, and it looks like there's another there's another colored ball. A green one now. So we need to, I'm guessing we need to take those green balls all the way to the respective we need to get the balls all the way to the respective color area, so I think. I don't know, let's see what's down here. Alright, let's spin this. Okay, 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 I'm, I don't know what I'm doing right now, it's just I'm doing something, I'm doing something, I know that, but I'm not doing anything that'll help me progress through the game, where is the ball? Where the ball's at? No, oh, where the ball's at, that just sounds so weird, but where the hell are, okay, the balls are up there, there's a ball up there, I know that. I'm gonna press on this to rotate, but I'm gonna... Go behind this 
area so that I can actually, when it spins upright, I can. Oh, right, I just sort of skipped through most of the areas and got in here. Great. Now, let's do this ball. Ball, let's do this. Ball. What? Am I supposed to, like, do stuff? Am I supposed to do stuff? Oh, okay, there we go. You just have to click on, you just have to press on the blue, the green platform. Okay, attract, attract towards you. Okay, now let's go over here and sort of place it there. I think that's where it's supposed to stay. And then you have the orange one and you sort of have to climb, you can climb. No, no, come here, come here, don't, don't repel, attract it. Now you can repel it because it's in front of you and you sort of want to make it go forward. Hurry up, you fucking fat obese kind of a thing. Attract, 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 attract. Oh my god. No, and it's going backwards now. How the fuck, how the fuck am I supposed to make it go forward? Stop, I'm gonna start repelling. Okay, we can boost the ball our way up here. Cool. And we can sort of... No, we don't have to. There's plenty of stops instead of plenty of flats in the middle. And we can... Just keep it safe with me. And I'll start making it head in the right direction. And this should be good. I, th I think I should be here. No, wait, what happened? No. Did I fuck up? Oh my god, I think I fucked up. Because they're all the way up there and I'm all the way down here and I shouldn't. I don't think I should be here. Okay. Okay, looking at the surroundings, I know that I'm originally was where I sort of Alright so they're down there and I'm up here. I don't think I should be up here. I should be down there with them. Because they are my kids. They are my kids. So I'm going to do this. God damn it, get up That's what she said. But still do it. Okay, yeah, I know what this is now. No. No. It's supposed to come up with me. I'll track it towards me as I got into the, into the purple area. No, no. Stay with me, stay with me. Stay with me, you pathetic piece of shit. Attract, attract, attract. Attract beam, attract beam, attract beam, attract beam. No, 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 I'm, oh my god, I'm repelling. Okay. Alright, sort of, look up, come behind you, and I'll sort of repel, I'll sort of push you over towards that orange area. And I think I did it. Oh my god, what would happen, what would happen if I put the orange one in the green area? I sort of want to know, and I kind of don't want to know, because I fear that it may sort of ruin my progress. So, I'll just try not anything. I could, however, put the green into the orange one, see what happens then, but in the same reason, I don't want to do that. Okay, am I trying to repel, or am I trying to... No, see, I'm going to try something new. I'm just going to try and put this... Fucking hell. Fucking purple cock blocking thing. Okay, so I'm going to put the ball here. Just so that when I actually rotate it, it actually is already here, so I'm the one that I worry about. Moving onto the purple platform. All right, actually, I've, I can be here already. I'm here already. Okay, attract towards you and the lot of you. Don't let it go off the edge. Now repel because it's in front of you and you want to move. You want to turn forward. Now attract because 
you're lonely. Okay, I don't know, I'm sort of- No, 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 I don't know what to do. No, actually, nothing happens. Is it weird if I told you that I was disappointed? And I am out. Alright. Well, I'm gonna bet. I'm gonna bet that in the next puzzle I'm gonna receive another power-up. I don't know. Maybe it's every three levels you receive a power-up anyway. So, I don't know. But anyway, thanks for watching this episode of Influx Let's Play. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, comment, do whatever. I'm Sudokurito, and I am out.